Welcome to Cappadocia. I think it snowed last night. We just reached in Cappadocia and temperature right now seems to be minus one. I'm wearing gloves. Uh, today I don't think so we will be doing any activities. Uh, tomorrow we will do hot air balloon ride and then we will do red tour. Time right now is around four o'clock and we are just strolling and enjoying this cold weather. It feels so nice. Can you see this right behind here is our cave hotel and on the parapet of all the hotels you can see the snow. Cappadocia is not only known for hot air balloon ride but it is also known for valleys, rock formation and caves made by Christians to escape from the dominance of the Roman Empire. We stayed in Vezir Cave Suits in Goreme. And in Goreme, you will find most of the cave hotels. These are entire hotels carved out of landscape, letting you experience the true culture and beauty of the region. This is our hotel room for which we paid 4000 rupees per night. Rooms here are pretty big and our room had jacuzzi also and if you get up early you can see hot air balloons from the hotel all right let's cut to day two time right now is 6 45 and temperature is minus two and today's first activity is hot air balloon and this is our van which will take us to the side from where the balloons will take off uh, we just had some light breakfast and we are waiting uh, for everyone to get ready so I'll see you straight at the takeoff site we did hot air balloon ride with turquoise balloons and it cost us 150 euros per person for all the hot air balloon ride companies preferred mode of transaction is by cash you can pay them by credit or debit card, but you will have to pay extra 10 euros. And this package includes pickup and drop to hotel and a light breakfast before takeoff. We are at the balloon takeoff site, and the civil aviation has told them that they need to wait for 30 minutes to get the weather clear you can see snow everywhere and here is our balloon we have got green flag from the civil aviation and we are ready to fly in next five minutes The flight will take about one hour, but maybe more, maybe less, because it depends the wind. And the most important thing is landing. When I said landing position, when I said landing position, all on the side. We just took off and the rest of the balloons are also in the air. Just have a look. What an amazing Cappadocia has one of the world's most ancient and stunning landscapes and the best views are from above the ground. And from above, it really looks like a winter wonderland. Your hot air balloon will pass over Cappadocia's fairy chimneys, tough valleys, rock-cut churches, animal rock formation and many more spectacular landscapes. It is generally an hour-long ride.
your hot air balloon ride will be full of surprises till the end. And with full precision, they will land balloon on a pickup truck. Once you get down, they will ask for help to deflate the balloon, which is kind of fun. After that, landing ceremony happens. This includes opening of champagne and distribution of certificates and medals. Alright, let's jump to Red Tour. For Red Tour, we paid 40 euros per person and if you are willing to pay by card, then it's gonna be 42 euros. So it is advisable to carry some cash while in Cappadocia. Our tour included hotel pickup and drop, sightseeing with all the entry fees and lunch. So in Red Tour, our first stop was Uchisar Castle. This castle is situated at the highest point in Cappadocia and it was fully snow covered. There are many rooms inside which are connected to each other via stairs, tunnels and narrow passages. Some rooms are no longer reachable due to erosion factor. By the time we click our photos, the time was over and we couldn't go inside. And because of such strict timetable, I generally avoid guided tours. Our next stop was Goreme Open Air Museum. And this is what our guide has to say about this place. It was a huge complex actually, but we can see just 10% of the complex because of the erosion factors. Okay. Just 9% of the complex just destroyed because of the erosions. And in 1st century, early Christians came from Jerusalem to here and they settled here. Their main aim was to spread their religion to the Europe and the known world actually. But in this time, in 3rd century, pagan Romans were living here. Alright, now let me take over. It's a world heritage site and it's pretty huge. This open air museum has rock cut churches, chapels and monasteries. Our guide gave us only 30 minutes to cover this place, which was very less. Most of the churches in Goreme Open Air Museum belong to 10th to 12th centuries. And inside few churches, you will find colorful and professionally painted frescoes, but you cannot shoot inside. So what I can show you is only from the outside. While in Cappadocia, make sure you are visiting this place. And the next place in our tour was Love Valley. Let's see what Mr. Ferran has to say about this place. In the summertime, in the sunset, the sun just going to the other side because of the angle, just can change color. Okay. And it's getting red. And because of that, we call that uh, people just found it romantic. Uh, so we call it Love Valley. Love Valley is one of the most stunning of many valleys in Cappadocia. Despite the resemblance to manhood, these amazing rock formations are far from man-made. These chimneys are formed because of erosion due to wind and snow. They are ancient structures that sit over 1000 meters altitude. During summers, these fairies look pink and turn red during sunset, hence this valley is called as Love Valley. And after having a hot cup of coffee at Love Valley, we move to our next stop which was Cappadocia Ceramic. Basically it is a shop, but here they will tell you about Turkey's rich pottery history. And then they will give you a shop tour. They have wide range of products. Pottery work was amazing, but everything in that shop was quite expensive. And after that we had some tasty lunch and went to see Imagination Valley. The small fairy chimneys in the valley form a lunar landscape by their strange looks. The valley also has many animal shaped rocks. It looks like a sculpture zoo made by nature. You have to stare at those rocks and try to resemble to any animal. The easiest one was camel. This one, the most famous one, the camel. It looks like camel, right? Yeah. yeah. And left side of the camel, you will see another hill. And right side of the hill, hill you will see two penguins just looking to the sky. Well, it was a pretty small stop. Now let's move to the next one. 
so this is going to be the last point for today uh, this is called as three beauties so you can see here so this is this one is father mother and somewhere behind the son it is the most famous natural beauty and symbol of urugup town the story goes like this princess marries a shepherd which obviously king disapproves and asks his soldiers to kill them and then princess runs away with her family and prays to god to turn them either into rocks or birds and then god turn them into these rocks so there is nothing much to do here or nothing much to see also so tomorrow we are going to cappadocia what what i mean is pamukale uh if there is nothing much today then i will see you straight in cappadocia again i mean pamukale all right enough of goof up let's fast forward to pamukale welcome to pamukale you can see those white color mineral mountains behind me we are walking up now and from here there are a few other places to see like cleopatra's pool thermal pool hierapolis and i think one or two more uh but as and when we go up we will explore each place one by one so right now we are going to buy ticket uh i'll see you when i am the other side of the entrance i have crossed the ticket counter you need to pay 60 lira to visit this entire complex so in 60 lira you can visit hierapolis uh the thermal pool cleopatra's uh lake and i think there are a few more places i'll let you know as we cover one by one and look at the these white mountains behind me these white color mountains behind me is not snow these are mineral deposits and right now the temperature is 6 degrees celsius and you have to walk here bare feet and the only plus point here is the hot thermal water or hot spring water i don't know what it is called as you can just soak your legs into that hot water and you will feel like heaven look at this these white mountains are called as travertines somewhere deep in the earth beneath pamukale lies vast source of water heated by volcanic lava water dissolves pure calcium and becomes saturated with it when water burst on the surface the calcium gets deposited on the mountain turning them snow white for sure this is an amazing spot for photography it's all white and people are taking photos everywhere i'm sure you're going to spend 2 to 3 hours here on travertine you are not allowed to wear shoes so make sure you are carrying a bag to keep your shoes As you start climbing up, the water temperature starts increasing and you will find many people soaking up their feet in hot water. And from here starts the ancient Roman city called Hierapolis. So right after these thermal pools, we have entered Hierapolis city. The city was built in 3rd century. What you can see behind me are the ruins of that city. uh there are multiple points to visit in the city and the one point which i don't want to miss is the ancient theater so let's see what else is there to visit so the first place is i guess it's cleopatra's pool uh you can see behind me and i'm definitely not going inside because of two reason first i don't have swimming costumes second it's 6 degrees celsius but still you can see there are enthusiastic people who are inside the pool enjoying it is a man made pool where cleopatra used to swim it is open to people but at extra cost it's a hot water pool and you will find many columns inside which earlier were around the pool but during earthquake most of the structure got destroyed and columns fell into pool the water here contains minerals and it's good for health They say you can drink this water, and I tried. 
From there we went to see ancient theater. The entrance is not that promising, but it was very clear that there is something huge beyond these walls. And when we entered, we were kind of awestruck. Theater is really huge and it can hold up to 8000 spectators. It is really a great piece of Roman architecture. Theater has 45 rows which are divided into two floors and entry to lower floor is restricted. Next place we wanted to visit was Temple of Apollo. But it was covered with fences and you can just view it from really far. This is only what we were able to see. There are many places to visit within city, but the directions are not properly given and we were kind of lost. So we asked someone for direction and they asked us to walk towards the south gate. and we started looking for south gate the instructions in hierapolis are not very clear we are still searching for south gate and we haven't come across yet i don't even know how it looks but whenever we come across i'll show it to you while looking for south gate we reached to terrace which gives amazing panoramic view of travertines We spent some time here clicking photos and making some short Instagram videos. All right, done with Clementine, and now back to South Gate. Then we again started walking and came across Gymnasium. And now only five pillars are left. Rest of the structure got collapsed during the earthquake in seventh century. In most of the Roman ancient cities you will find a gymnasium as this used to be the most important building in their civic life. And finally we came across South Gate which was nothing but an exit to the Hierapolis city. Finally we found the South Gate. It is nothing but an exit to the Hierapolis and right now I'll be walking out of it and in a while we'll be able to see south gate behind me this behind me is the south gate and this is going to be end of our day here in pamkhale due to lack of directions in that city we were not able to visit all the places and we missed on necropolis roman bath frontier street plutonium and few more but when you guys visit please make sure that you're visiting all the places So we are ending our trip to Turkey here in Pamkale. If you like this video, give us a big fat thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Till then, peace, and I will see you next time.